the Alpine summits surrounding Grenoble are over 3,000 meters high. A cable car from the Bastille viewing platform transports visitors directly to the center of town. Most of the houses here are from the 19th century and have elaborately decorated facades. The popular Antiques Quarter is home to two streets lined by old bookstores and antique dealers. Some 15 shops in all. The district is very special because of its location. There used to be several churches and monasteries here. So it's not surprising that antique dealers moved to this area 40 years ago. We, in turn, attract collectors looking for special art treasures. Grenoble is also home to about 60,000 students. A popular hangout for them is the Chez Mémé Paulette restaurant, where owner Sébastien Houdier serves traditional French cuisine. His restaurant is located just a few streets away from the old St. Clair market. Dating back to 1874, it remains the best place to buy fresh regional produce. Such as cheese, meatballs, or small spinach ravioli. It's the best place to shop. In Grenoble, everything is close by because of the mountains. You can get everything you need just around the corner. In 1968, the region hosted the 10th Olympic Winter Games, receiving the equivalent of more than 450 million euros for new buildings. It also renovated skiing resorts, like Chamrus, a 30-minute drive from town. Located at an altitude of over 2,000 meters, it has 23 lifts and almost 100 kilometers of ski slopes. Chamrus is small, but the perfect place for beginners. You can ride up to the summit and descend comfortably. That's quite unique. In other skiing regions of Grenoble, such as the Alpes d'Huez, you can go up, but as a beginner you can't come all the way down. It's different here. A blue slope leads right from the top to the bottom, and that's great for beginners. Aside from its picturesque setting, Grenoble is also a center of culture. The Musée de Grenoble houses an impressive art collection. Tens of thousands of visitors come every year to see the museum's contemporary art exhibitions. Because of its mountain setting, Grenoble boasts an intimate atmosphere. The coffee culture is also alive and well. The Pain et Accompagnie is a busy cafe with delicious desserts, a place people come to to socialize. Therefore, not for anyone seeking solitude. People come here because it's cozy. They sit at large wooden tables and talk and chat. So everyone gets talking to each other, and they love that. Grenoble isn't just a vibrant university town. Its picturesque alpine location makes this city very special indeed.